What's going on guys, Eddie of Fliptronics. So I'm gonna be showing you how to screen record on the new iPhone SE 2020 edition. Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you two different methods to do this. The first one's gonna be the uh, method that comes pre-installed on your phone. Um, but the reason that I'm gonna get away from it is because it is somewhat glitchy, which I'm gonna talk about. Okay, anyways, in order to you know get this to work, what you need to do is go into your settings. From in here, you wanna click on Control Center, and then there's gonna be an uh, option that says Customize Controls. Okay, so from in here, what you wanna do is get the option to come up in your, uh, your options when you load up Control Center. Um, and it looks like it's kind of like towards the bottom here, so it's, it's pretty far down, but you'll see the screen recording option. All you need to do is click the plus icon and then you know, you're basically good to go. So let's just pull up our controls here on the home screen and um, you know, when you do that, you're gonna see an option. It should be like right under the flashlight and that's gonna be your uh, screen recording option. All right, so check it out. It does a three, two, one countdown and then it starts recording. Um, you're gonna see a little notification up here, but it's also gonna turn red. So this lets us know everything's going, um, you know, and everything's cool right now. If you wanna stop the recording, you could just load this, uh, just click on here and then it'll have the, uh, whatever the recording is saved for you. Now the huge downside to using this built-in screen recorder is that it's super glitchy. Um, you know, a lot of the time when I've used it in the past, it works a little bit, but then, uh, you know, obviously for me, um, you know, after I've used it for letting it go for like a minute or two, um, typically it just cuts off and stops recording. It's really freaking frustrating. So, I mean, you can check it out, but if you plan on recording anything over like a minute or two, just know that it's glitchy and a lot of the time it just stops working. So my recommendation would be to check out an app. Um, this has been basically like my savior, this app, it's called Record It. Um, there is a free version and a paid version on it. Obviously you can check out the uh, free version first to see if you wanna actually buy it, but I bought it and I'm gonna show you how it works. Okay, so all you have to do is load it up, tap the little record option, then click broadcast. All right, so I'm gonna let it record. Um, let's load up some Crossy Castle, kind of record this for a second here. Um, also, as you guys are watching this too, uh, feel free to message me below in the comments if you share the frustration of the built-in screen recorder just glitching all the time, because it is frustrating. All right, anyways, um, I'll let this go for like a, whatever couple seconds. This game's awesome, by the way. If you guys have Apple Arcade, definitely recommend checking this game out. All right, clear this first room here. Okay, anyways, let's go back to the home screen here um, and uh, we'll tap it here. So you can either tap up at the top of your screen or load up the uh, controls to stop it. But anyways, we stop the recording. Now, once you have the recording in here, what you can do is edit it straight from the editor or you can share it. So I'm just gonna click share. We're gonna edit to our camera roll. I'm gonna click OK, then let's go back to our um, pictures in here and we'll just load it up. All right, so it's right here. So I'm just gonna let it play for a second. Um, but like I said, this is so much better using this app than the built-in screen recorder. It just works all the time. It's always reliable and it never just cuts out and stops recording. Okay, anyways, you guys, just a quick tip with this new iPhone SE 2020 edition. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos with it, comparing it with a lot of other phones. Um, just smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.